Hello everyone. We're going to learn how to set up a modded Minecraft server on Linux. We will go over on installing Forge, adding mods, and much more. Are you ready to play with friends without a hassle? Let's begin. So to start the server, we're going to be picking a service called DigitalOcean and DigitalOcean uh, basically gives us the easiest way to create Linux servers uh, and we're going to be choosing a distribution called Debian 9. So before we set up the server we're going to we're going to actually set up Forge onto our local uh, PC uh, which for me I'm using Mac OS so um, I read it I read in instructions for both Mac OS and Linux uh, but for Windows, it might vary. So just uh, so just try to Google this uh, stuff if you're using Windows, actually. But it should be the same. So no worries. So um, to start, we're we're gonna go to my GitHub page. And I uh, I read in instructions so that we can set up Forge onto our uh, onto our local uh, PC and onto the Linux servers as well. So to download the files. All you have to do is just copy and paste these commands into your terminal. So once the files are downloaded, uh, you just want to head on over to my uh, to to the file section and just click on the PDF. And we're just going to be using this guide as reference. So I only added three sections because it's really not not that much uh, work to actually make a uh, uh, to make mods work on Minecraft. Uh, so if you already have Minecraft downloaded, uh, if you actually paid the game, you can just skip this. You can skip the first section, and we're just gonna head on over to the second section, which is in just to install the mods. So, uh, uh, according to your OS, just follow the steps uh, that you need. So for Mac OS, we're just gonna gonna copy and paste the command CPR downloads MC mods library. Minecraft. And now we're just gonna <clears throat> we're gonna go back to our uh, directory. And now we're gonna run the command to uh, launch forge. So that would be Java uh, dash jar and then type out the entire uh, entire uh, name for forge. So this would just open the client, and uh, all you would just need check that uh, check box. You would just need to check, make sure that install client is selected, and once that's done, just click OK, and Forge should be installed. Okay, now uh, it's complete. So we just click OK, and now we in we now installed Forge. After installing the Forge client, we can now launch Minecraft. So under section three, if you already have the game purchased, you can skip step one. You can just uh, go to step two. So uh, just open the game. And on this up arrow, you want to click on the Forge profile, which is obviously this one, the really long name. So just make sure that's selected and go to launch options. And right here, you want to make sure advanced settings is enabled. And once that's done, just click on settings. Launch options. Oh, I meant launch options. So, uh, yeah, I, again, um, just click here and then click on the profile. And uh, right here, make sure uh, you have JVM arguments en enabled. And this... Uh, line of code is basically we're telling um how much memory minecraft is using so since i'm running uh on a light laptop it's i actually want it to be at least just uh around one gigabytes but i recommend if you have like a gaming pc that you're going to be playing on this i recommend two gigabytes because like two gigabytes is ba is definitely enough uh for minecraft not to lag so uh, also yeah as you can see i uh i recommend two gigabytes 
So after you uh, after you paste in what you want, how many memory you want, just click on save. And now you're ready to play Minecraft with mods. So uh, once you uh, finish doing so, uh, just make sure to open up the game and launch Forge and just create a new world. Uh, just so that just to test out your mods and see if it actually works. If it doesn't work, just uh, try to see where you re went wrong and just uh, yeah, just try to fix it. So if, now we're going to create a server. And before that, before we actually create the server, we actually need some sort of service uh, to give us that uh, a server to uh, basically just uh, customize. There's either two options. You can go with uh, uh, just uh, getting a service online for me, which I use again uh, as as told. I use DigitalOcean, or you can use a local server, which is which basically is uh, running your own server on your own uh, local uh, PC. But I don't recommend doing that because it actually uses a lot of resources, and it would just and you would actually have to uh, keep the server on onto your own laptop. So if that laptop or desktop, wh whichever you're using, actually goes down, so will the Minecraft world as well. So if you just want to uh, just go with what I do, just you can just go ahead and just follow along. So just go to DigitalOcean.com and uh, uh, make sure you sign up and uh, try to see how you can pay for this uh, as well. And uh, so, um, so yeah, once you sign up, uh, you'll get this interface. And all you want to do is uh, just click on the top right, click on Create, and click on Droplets. And for the operating system, we're going to be choosing Debian 9. Uh, just make sure you just have standardized and... Uh, uh, depending on how many people are going to play, if you're going to be play, playing with like around five people in the server, then you don't really need, need that much uh, uh, specs on your server. So I recommend just choosing the uh, the two gigabytes and two CPUs, which is uh, just two cores. And just let's scroll down here. Obviously, make sure you have a, uh, the server is nearby you. So obviously, California, it's, that's the closest uh, sp uh, spot for me. And just name it. Uh, just name it like a name you can remember. So I'm just gonna call it Debian uh, MC Server, and then just click on Create. So now, once the server is created, uh, there's really not that much else to do. All you have to do is just log in and just basically just configure it. So let's uh, do so. So just uh, log in, and to do that, we're just uh, you will have to want to copy the IP address, which is uh, which is. Uh, we created the one called Debian MC server. Just uh, click on copy, and on your terminal, just click on SSH root at, and then paste in the IP address. And if you get this message, just uh, if you get this message, just uh, type in yes. And now here, it's going to give you. It's going to ask for the password, and so the password. Uh, if you're using DigitalOcean, they should uh, message you an email with all the the. Uh, the login stuff. So just checking your email and it should look something like this. Uh, yeah, Debian MC server. And you just want to copy and paste the password, which is just like ra random uh, characters of stuff. So just paste that in and paste it in again. And now here, then you can create your own password. So I'll just uh, do it right now. Whoops, that's a uh, pretty short. Okay, so now we're logged into the server. I'm just gonna clear the screen. And now next thing we wanna do is on head on over to my GitHub page and just click on the, ma the main page, the readme file, which is right here. So now here, since we're logged in to our server, we're actually gonna uh, update, update it in order to uh, uh, make sure it's really fast and it doesn't lag when we're playing Minecraft. So again, uh, on my readme page, just uh, copy and paste uh, these commands into the terminal. And then copy this next one right here. So we just basically, 
installed programs and updated the server. So once that's done, just type in, we're just gonna restart the server. So to do that, just type in reboot and and uh, try to log in after, after one minute because uh, it's tr still trying to reboot after that minute. So yeah, just, uh, just wait one minute and just uh, come right back. All right, so after waiting long enough, just re-log in, just uh, log back in. So the same command, ssh, uh, and then type in your password. Great, so we're logged in. So now here, uh, this section right here is basically gonna download all my files and uh, we're gonna be running a script that basically uh, runs the server. So a quick note, um, if you're gonna be, if you want specific mods, uh, which is for me when you look inside the file, the folder, I only have four mods with it, which is Biomes Plenty, Custom Mob Spawner, Mo More cre Creatures Mod, and Optifine. In order for uh, you and your friends to be able to play with mods, uh, you, uh, oh, so let's say uh, both of you, uh, everyone in uh, in the server has to have the same mods with what the server has. So it, for me, since uh, um, I wanna play on that on the server that we're creating, I wanna make sure I only have these four only in my mods folder on, on my local PC, just just my local. And same, same thing that goes to everyone else who wants to play in the server. So you have to have the same jar files in your mods folder. So just a quick note there. All right, so uh, to download the files, uh, just copy and paste. So this command right here, we're uh, we're gonna be running Forge. Uh, and this uh, and this part right here, it's gonna basically uh install it as a server, so that we can make it into a, a modded uh Minecraft uh, uh server basically. All right, so uh, once we install Forge onto our server, uh, we obviously want to create the Eula the Eula file, so we can just agree to the terms and conditions. So just copy and paste this command. And after that, this is basically gonna make uh, my script to launch Minecraft uh, executable. And this right here, the last command, after the two ampersands, is it's basically just uh, running Minecraft. So once you set up everything else, if you want to launch your server again, this is the only one that you need just to launch the script. So just copy and, copy and paste this last command. All right, so once it reaches up to 100%, your Minecraft world with mods has been created. So to show you guys that it actually works, you just type in TP, OP. Yeah, it, de it definitely works. So um, a quick note again, if if you join your, your own server, uh, you're not actually admin. To make yourself admin, all you would have to do is uh, go to your terminal and just type in OP, and then your name, obviously. And to turn off the server, you would just type in stop and then press enter. And typing in stop ba stop basically uh, turns off the, the world. So if you ever want to quit the game. All right, so the grand finale. Now let's actually try to launch Minecraft and uh, try to join on, on our own server. So uh, yeah, just uh, launch Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, make sure your uh, the Forge profile is selected when you launch the game. All right, so once Minecraft is loaded, uh, you wanna, ha wanna head on over to multiplayer and we're gonna, you're gonna have to actually add your server. So just click on that server and just name anything you want. So it's uh, MC. And the most important part is just uh, type in the right IP address. So it's, for me it was 157. 230.129.92. Uh, Click on that. I mean done. And right there, uh, you can definitely see like once you add the server, it recognizes it instantly. So you just click on play. All right, and now you uh, you can start playing on your server. So yeah, it definitely works. So uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, and to make yourself op, OP, uh, uh, make sure. Uh, just head on over to the terminal and just type in OP and then your name. 
And once you do that, as you can see, there's a message on the bottom left corner saying that I am I am oped uh, Mark Prestech. So now I'm an admin on my own server. All right. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this helped you uh, create your first modded Minecraft server. So yeah, uh, um, yeah, just uh, uh, sus subscribe to this channel, uh, and I'll make more videos like this in the future. So yeah, th uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you later.